Welcome to the Dating Kinky Podcast, a cast about love, sex, romance, and kink. A few days back, I was walking through the woods with a friend, and we were talking and hiking as, you know, often happens, and they were saying that they had found themselves putting up defenses, um, closing themselves off, uh, you know, putting up more walls between them and other people than they wanted. And I said that, in my opinion, the problem with strong defenses is I find that they hold you in as much or more than they keep others out. And in the course of conversation, they said they were working on lowering their defenses and trusting people. So I asked, do you want to know my pet theory on trust? They said, yes. So I shared it with them. And today, I'm sharing it with you. Trust is 99% this. Most people see trust as dependent on what others do. I don't, at least not most of it. Maybe 1%, maybe 10% to me is what people do. The actions they take, their words or their truths. The rest, that 90% or 99%, That's all me, or all you. Trust is trust in yourself, your ability to handle whatever someone offers you. And when you don't trust, you don't believe that you can take what they might throw at you. Your worry is not about their lies, but about your reaction to their lies, your hurt, your betrayal, your heartbreak. Trust is mm, a deep, dark mirror of your fears. I wrote back in 2017, trust. I can count on this person to meet my needs before their wants, at least while with me. My need to feel safe before their desire to get off. My need to feel heard before their instinct to defend themselves. My need to connect on an intimate level before their excitement for edge play. My need for the truth over their fear of whatever. And that is still true-ish. But I've realized that the trust is not about them. It was never about them. It's about me and my ability to accurately assess these things in others, to not second guess myself, to handle whatever comes my way, sure, but also to avoid most of the bad things through honing my instincts and paying attention to what people show me about themselves. I was actually writing something else this morning when I typed a series of words that stopped me in my tracks and made me write this instead. I wrote, if you set the intention to love and trust your partner as you do yourself and to know that they will do what's best for themselves and that they believe what is best for them is also good for the both of you and whatever you have together. And, and to me, this is the important bit, to believe for yourself the same thing. Because if you know deep down inside that what you want and do is not what is best for your relationships, but that you're going to do it anyway, then you will never trust another person to accomplish that. And whoo, that slapped. When we lie to ourselves, we are not able to trust others. When we actively deceive ourselves, It affects our ability to recognize when others deceive us. And, (laughs) and it also affects our ability to recognize when others are telling us the truth. Because we can't even tell when we were telling ourselves the truth. Like, holy fudge buckets, y'all. I mean, I've been heading in this direction for a long time. In 2021, I wrote... Do you trust you about this? And although it was a step closer, it was still missing this. 
And although it was a step closer, it was still missing this. I'll put the link in the show notes along with a few links to other writings or casts about trust. And earlier this year, I said, it doesn't matter that I don't really trust them, though, because I have strong boundaries. But it's not really because I have strong boundaries. That's true, but not the truth. I can trust others because I trust me. And I don't have to trust them if I trust me and my ability to handle whatever they can dish out. And if I don't trust them, then it's up to me to search inside myself for what I think I can't handle. And what I may or may not be able to handle is based partially on what I think they're capable of, which is where most of us place 100% of our trust. But I don't. Because what someone is capable of, I can't know. I can only guess at what they will do in interactions with me. And when I don't know them, I have to rely entirely on myself for all the possibilities, including them being an axe murderer, right? And when I do know them, they could still be an axe murderer. But I trust myself to have sussed out that while that is possible, it is not probable. And all of the greatest probabilities that I can map out in my mind are absolutely things I can handle. And when that happens, I trust them. Sure, sometimes I'm wrong about the probabilities. But so far... So far, I've never been wrong about my ability to survive and grow and thrive no matter what has been thrown at me. And that is the core of my trust and the foundation of my relationships. What are your thoughts? Do you feel that trust is more about you than about the other person? Or am I full of it? (laughs) Or perhaps there is even more to it than I am seeing. Thank you for joining me today. If you love this episode, please share it with others who would enjoy it. And please do join me on our new apps available in the Google Play and Apple App Stores. Dating Kinky, it's built by Kinksters for Kinksters, Poly, Queer, Trans Folk, and anyone not quite vanilla. And it's free. Find me on FetLife as Nookie Notes and on Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, and Medium as Dating Kinky. We're on Instagram as Dating Kinky Official, all one word. Also, find me on the new Moan app in beta for iPhone. I'm Miss Nookie there. T-H-E-M-O-N-A-P-P dot com. Have a kinky day, and I'll catch you next episode.